We're pretty good at handling data and using data to interpret positions and policies. If a post-truth world I interpret to mean a world in which truth is not valued very much, I think economists are among those who'd be very good at demonstrating the value of truth and telling truth to power. One of the things that I find very encouraging is this extent to which other social sciences are coming closer to economics. Of course, the big area is psychology, where behavioral economics become very, very important. We understand how those subjects are important to our lives, too. So that, I think, is a good direction in which we're going. There is a, an abiding sin of modern economics. We've tended to think all problems have technical or technological solutions. I mean, we're very good at yielding advice, but the politics is really incredibly important. I could give you a list of policies that I think would be have a chance of working. If I were the dictator and there was no Congress and there was no Mr. Trump and there was no anything, we tend to give technical answers to questions like that instead of saying, you know, what are the things that we have some chance of making happen? And I think economists need to think about that more and not sort of just act as a sort of technological elite that understands how the economy ought to be run. And if people won't do that, so much the worse for that. <laughs>